and welcome to this episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman Histology. Um, this slide which we're going to be looking at today is of the cardioesophageal junction. So let's start the timer. Okay, so one of the first things that you'll see is quite a dramatic change in surface epithelium here. So you can see these folds which are associated with the esophagus on this side. And then here we have these little depressions on the left hand side which is the stomach. If we have a little bit closer um, detail, we can actually see that this is a stratified squamous non keratinized type of epithelium. Very thick epithelium and then the epithelium looks very different here. Obviously not that easy to see at this magnification. We zoom in again, we can actually see nuclei all the way to the top, confirming our identification of this as a stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. And then if we move across, here we have the sort of region where we have a junction. We'll magnify again. We've got the simple columnar cells, which is the beginning of the stomach. This first part of the stomach is a region known as the cardio uh, cardiac region of the stomach. We can see these glands. These are mucus secreting glands or cardiac glands, and they empty into these little depressions here. Uh, these little depressions are the gastric pits, so they're little openings on the surface of the mucosa. We've got lots of lamina propria or loose connective tissue here, and we've got a little bit of a, a lymphoid follicle here. And so if we keep following down, we can still see these mucus secreting cardiac glands. But then as we keep moving to the left, we begin to see a transformation in some of the cellular composition of these glands. We'll begin to see new cell types, some of these very acidophilic type of cells. And these are going to be cells like um, uh, parietal cells, which are the very acidophilic cells, and they are responsible for the secretion of um, hydrogen chloride ions, which form hydrochloric acid. Um, and we also see down the base, uh, we will we'll see some evidence of some other cell types called chief cells, which are responsible for the secretion of uh, the inactive form of pepsin, which is known as pepsinogen. So here we've got our um, more complex looking glands, uh, less lamina propria in between these glands. So now we're in the sort of what we call the body or the fundus of the stomach. If we zoom out uh, just a little bit we can take a look at some of the other features really quickly. Down here we have the muscularis mucosa so we can see that's a smooth muscle layer uh, and the last of the three layers of the mucosa. Here we have the submucosa which is varying amounts of connective tissue and we've got blood vessels and things like that there and then we have the muscularis layer and you can see again that's smooth muscle um, and in the stomach we actually have three layers. Uh, we have a, um, a new oblique layer which is unique to the stomach you know, in comparison to the rest of the gastrointestinal tract. And then on the outside we have a serosa. So you can see this line of mesothelial cells with an underlying layer of connective tissue. Well that's it. Um, there's the three minutes of histology. Thank you.